I'm uh, Nick Schaefer, Director of Engineering at Q, and we're going to convert a honey badger to 556. Old school honey badger, new 556. So if you have a Legacy 300 Blackout uh, honey badger in any configuration, you can now convert it to our new 556 by buying an upper conversion kit, whether barrel length you want, and I'm going to show you how to convert your gun to 556. All right, step one, cut a hole in the box. No, actually it's remove the upper, 300 blackout upper. So you'll have to have your bolt, barrier, bolt carrier closed. Pop the pins, if I can find them. And the spring everywhere, okay. So that's off. Ran a blackout out. Now, this new recoil system has a full sized regular diameter spring, so we have to take the guide rod out of the back. To do that, you're going to need a ratchet. I have a torque wrench because I always use a torque wrench. Probably going to have to run that a little bit. Once you have that loose, you can spin out the guide rod. See, I'm holding the cap in because the spring is going to want to take off the stock, but you don't really need to remove it. We're just going to replace it with this new, shorter, and ventilated cap screw. Out with the old and with the new. Torque that baby on. To the foot pounds in the comments, whatever you guys come up with. And you're almost ready to go. One more part. That is this fella. This is the carrier stop or bumper stop. You gotta drop that in the tube. And you should be able to reach it with your finger and make sure it's started. And then you can use your new carrier. To make sure it's seated. You should have a little gap between the gas key and the upper. That means it's all the way in there. Ta-da! Your lower is now converted to the new recoil system. Then it's just as simple as installing your new upper. Which is a little bit easier than before. Another great point is, in order to go back to, to 300 blackout, all you've got to do is take this upper off, put that upper on, and run the same recoil system. So we've just installed the new recoil system on a Legacy Honey Badger, and that's going to allow you to seamlessly switch back and forth between 300 Blackout and 556. Uh, it's going to be running reliably, and it's e also easier to field strip to take to disassemble and reassemble. I'm Nick Schaefer. I've been assembling guns for 16 years and teaching it for even longer. Today we're going to show you how to convert your honey badger to 556.